Hi everybody. I don't know what the problem is with this link that I provided underneath the video Paradise Lost to Dust that I posted yesterday. A lot of you are clicking on that link and you're coming up with page does not exist or something else. Well, I went to my video. Hi everybody, it's and I clicked on the link Butte County Recovers and it works for me but it looks changed from yesterday. I don't get the tabs that I showed in my video so what you need to do and I'll repost this link go down here to 360 Drone Panoramas, Town of Paradise. I also have a lot of open pages. I'm going to go through, like I did yesterday, some of those pages to show you the obviousness of this targeting of homes. It's not a wildfire. And why am I doing this again? Well, so that you will have a lot of pages in this video, just in case you can't get to it, a lot of the, the drone images, the 360 drone images. When I come across comments like this, finally after watching this video, four members of my family woke up. That's why I think it is worth my while to once again show you that this was not a wildfire. Not at all. As you can see, the perimeter, no, n not one of these trees were affected by the wildfire. The 360 view. You have literally a entire neighborhood that had their homes brought to dust, everything gone, no sinks, no tubs, no beams, nothing. And then you have a few which uh, should strike everybody as odd. How is it that these homes were literally brought to dust surrounding two homes that are left entirely untouched, not even scorched, nothing. And these homes back here. So when, when people look at these images, these images should really beg an awful lot of questions. Here's another very obvious 360 view. Look at this. Look at this. This is completely it's it doesn't even it doesn't even look like a pile of dust. This home is Gone. Gone. But the pool here, it looks like an, uh, an outdoor pool or whatever it is. It might be some plastic lining, but that is still there. And again, Look at the 360 view. Where did this fire come from? But all of these homes are gone. Literally gone, okay? There, there is no mistaking that some kind of very powerful weapon literally took these homes away. Away! Now, you would think that they would have a lot of debris to cart away. Well, they don't because they're gone. 
And then you see these structures in between just a nest of trees, but the trees are fine. So yes, you know those um, magazines that were in doctor's offices when we were kids and you would come across a page, what is wrong with this picture? Well, adults, please, you know, bring back that little child that would be staring at those pictures to try to figure out what's wrong with them. Another neighbor completely, a uh, neighborhood brought to dust, except for a few homes, but the surrounding 360 view. How do these fires somehow leap over all of these trees and take away all of these homes brought to their foundations? brought to their foundations. Every one except for the few back here. And how is it that a wildfire could leave like no traces of debris on the streets? I will say it's hard for me to go through this because you're looking when you look at these slabs of white dust you're looking at people's lives destroyed again 360 where did this fire come from? Where? How did it how did it leap over all of this? This was not a wildfire. Not at all. Not at all. And everything has become so obvious now that It's frightening when you realize that people can look at this and then deny what they see. How did this fire? Look at this. It goes right in between these trees, this narrow patch to take out these homes and this home and these back here and this one, leaving untouched all of the vegetation around it. Yeah, we do need to wake up an awful lot. And they need to recognize that what they are looking at are targeted hits from laser weapons, directed energy weapons, Directed energy weapons, very powerful, and can literally take a home and reduce it to dust. Again, you see the 360 view. This was not a wildfire. How did the fire go from here to here without engulfing all of the leaves on these trees? Especially since mainstream media was showing us how high the flames were. Home right here, gone. Gone. Everything gone. All the porcelain. All, all the appliances, everything is gone. It somehow 
I guess, just got a flying ember. Well, there must have been an awful lot of flying embers. And they somehow didn't land on the trees. They landed on the home. Like, these flying embers were perfect hits of the homes. Look at this. The vegetation around it. Fine. This home. Fine. But this gone. And this gone. And this gone. And that gone. But this home completely untouched. So many images on this site. I don't know why you guys are having a problem. Um, but it's still right there for me. But you can also see areas that are scorched. And in some of these images, you will see a perfect scorched line. I'm sorry, but that's not how fires work. But look at this, okay? There is a home in here brought to dust. Somehow the fire just wiggled its way right to the home. Understand, we have tens of thousands of people who are suffering. And you don't get over this. You don't get over it. I also received a comment from um, Oh, Robert, Robert Ote, who lost his home, and he was saying there were no flying embers. He, he literally just escaped driving through the fires. No fi f flying embers. Homes were exploding. Look at this. Look at these one, two, three. There's another structure in between these trees here, a structure here, a structure right here. But they're all surrounded by dry vegetation. You heard, oh, the drought, everything is so dry. Well, you can tell that these trees, the foliage, the, the, the color, <coughs> colors are changing, um, the leaves are dying, they should have gone up in seconds, in seconds, but nothing, no, just the homes. And the smart meters may w very well have played a role in this. There still are pockets of homes in areas where most have smart meters. And this, I believe, is true everywhere. But I know that there are some homes without smart meters here in Anderson, South Carolina, <clears throat> but most do have the smart meters. So could the smart meters have sensors in them that the lasers are targeting? But it wouldn't just be, th th a smart meter fire does not cause more than 11,000 homes to turn to dust. So it's not just one thing. A lot of people fight over, you know, thinking that it's only one thing. No, expand your thinking to, to realize that it could be an awful lot of factors causing this. Weapons. This is not a wildfire. But in a lot of the images, I've noticed these black, what look like SUVs with their doors open and 
from what I've heard, the people that lived in paradise can't return. They have not been able to return. Well, I'm sure they want to keep you out. Here's another image with these cars. Look at this, my God. Look at this scorched area that is very neatly defined. This is so unbelievably heartbreaking. But please, around these trees, this tree would have gone up in a split second. But you've got this home in here turned to dust. There will be more than not that can't recover. There, there are now people homeless. Look at this incredibly uh, defined scorch right here. That's a, that is a directed energy weapon. This is a direct hit. And yeah, lasers, woof, they can uh, exact destruction. This home completely fine, untouched. The home behind it, gone. Gone, but the trees here are fine. Oh boy. Another black SUV. Figures my computer would. Yeah, my computer's not good. Okay. Um, please, please go to that site. Um, my computer just froze up. Try to get back on that page. But if you can't, this is so not about me wanting me to be circulated. No. This is about, I want, I want these images circulated. And I, no permission is needed for any video that I post. You can take the images and you can delete my audio and put in your own audio. I don't care. It's, we've been living this for years, watching people's lives get destroyed. And yeah, it is absolutely, you cannot absolve yourself of responsibility. We as human beings have a responsibility to one another. That's just a fact. We can live our lives thinking we're not responsible for anybody else. But then you're living a life that is so morally wrong and you make yourself complicit with all of this destruction. You cannot separate out. Everything is connected and yes, we are all connected. It matters how we live our lives. It matters what we do. It matters that we help one another. And it matters that we all come together to try to fight this war that is taking place. There's no way that this fire somehow just leapt over everything 
to take to make a home invisible except for the square slab that it was built on. Yes, everybody who denies this, everybody who calls you a conspiracy theorist, everybody who calls you a nut job, they are absolutely complicit with what you are seeing here. They make themselves the enemy. They make themselves the enemy. They allow people like Jerry Brown and the fire officials in California, they allow them, they give them permission to take out homes and then lie to all of you about the cause. And this lying in this country has to stop. And the only way that it can possibly stop is if people stop accepting the lies. We've got to stop accepting the lies. So now that my computer is going down again, please, please, please circulate this. I will, I will redo the link below this video and the video that I posted yesterday. Thank you so much, guys, for your support, for your kindness in the comments section, and for anybody who is doing everything that they can to help those in need. Thank you.